Hello my dear students. You have learned a lot of things about flowers, plants. You have learned about flower plants with flowers of different colors. Also the plants with flowers of same color. Haven't you learned? Yes. All of you have submitted your assignments. You are all really good students. Okay, so nice of you. And apart from these colors, what are the other peculiarities of flowers? What are the other specialities of colors? You know that flowers are so attractive. What are the things that make the flowers attractive? Color is a factor, right? Flowers are of different colors and that it attracts everyone, every one of us, right? What are the other peculiarities of flowers? Do you like the smell of flowers? Do you like the smell of flowers? Yes. See, the fragrance of flowers is so beautiful, so sweet to smell. Isn't it? Which flower is this? Can you name this flower? Yes, it is rose. Rose is considered as the cune of flowers. Rose is the cune of flowers. Right, it's very beautiful, it's very attractive and it has a very good smell. It smells so good, right? Girls mostly like this flower rose. Don't you like? So rose, cune of flowers and it has very attractive or beautiful smell. And have you seen this flower? What is its name? Yes, it is marigold, a flower that brings sunshine to your garden. This flower makes your garden beautiful. Am I correct? See how beautiful is its color and its smell. Wow, mind blowing, right? It's so sweet. It smells. It smells so sweet. And it brings sunshine to your garden. It makes your garden so attractive, isn't it? And which flower is this? It's chrysanthemum. What is it? Chrysanthemum. By the way, I forgot to say something. What is the Malayalam word for marigold? Chendumalli. Right? Chendumalli. Marigold. Okay. Now, chrysanthemum, its Malayalam word is jamanti. See how beautiful these flowers are. These are of different colors. And what about its smell? Again, wow, beautiful smell. Right? It smells really, really good. So it's very much aromatic. And have you seen this flower? Frangipani. What is it? Chempagam. Flowers. These are flowers with these are flowers with strong smell. These flowers are having strong smell. Right. Now, do you know making perfumes from flowers? Do you know how to make perfumes from flowers? See, do you use perfumes or your parents use perfumes? Perfumes? Why do they use perfumes? It gives good smell to our body, right? That's why we are using perfumes. And making perfumes from flowers means many perfumes are made using the extracts of these flowers. Why? Because flowers are aromatic. They have good smell. So, perfume companies, what they do? They extract this aromatic compounds from flowers or you simply think that the smell is extracted from flowers right so many perfumes are made from flowers now so you know that flowers are of different colors they have good smell too isn't it now let's play an eye band game what is an eye band game do one thing First you collect some flowers from your garden. Just go out and collect some flowers from your garden. Do you have a garden? Okay. Try to collect some flowers from your garden and ask your mama to tie your eyes with handkerchief or with a band. What will you do? You ask your mama to tie your eyes. The same game. Okay. And now what you have to do is you ask your mama to make you smell the flowers that you have collected what will you do you just say mama make me smell these flowers let me try to identify these flowers with the smell 
So mama, what will mama do? She will do as you say, right? So uh, can you identify the flowers with their smell? Yes, you can. Right? Can you identify? Try this game. Everyone should try this game. So everyone should play this eye band game. You will know that these flowers can be identified with their smell. If if you are asked to smell, if if your mama shows you, uh, gives you a uh, marigold, you smell it without seeing. Okay, your eyes are closed. Without seeing, you smell it and say, Ah, mama, this is marigold. I know its smell. If it is rose, then also you are going to identify it. Right? Because these flowers are of different smell and we can identify each flower with their corresponding smell with their respective smell is that clear now so you understood this thing flowers can be identified with their smell right now you know some flowers that bloom at night there are some flowers which blossom at night I'll show you the pictures of some flowers that blooms at night Nishagandhi what is its name Nishagandhi Cune of night we have studied what is Cune of flowers who is Cune of flowers that is our rose right here Cune of night is Nishagandhi see how beautiful it is observe the picture carefully I'll show you another picture what is it prime rose can you see this picture? Wow, it's again so beautiful, no? Now, which flower is this? It is water lily. Now, have you seen this flower? It's moon flower. What are the specialities of all these flowers? There is some common thing for all these flowers. Nishagandhi, prime rose, water lily, moon flower. Which is common for all these flowers? Their color is common. All are white. Isn't it? Flowers that blossom at night are white and fragrant. Fragrance means smell. Beautiful smell. Okay. So flowers that blossom at night are white and fragrant. Are all these flowers of same color? Yes, they are all white. Nisha Gandhi, it's white. Cune of night. Nisha means in Malayalam. Nisha means Ratri. Cune of night. Prime rose, water lily, moon flower, all these flowers are white in color and are fragrant. Their fragrance is really good. So flowers that blossom at night are white and fragrant. Why are they white? See, nature has her own plan, right? This help flies locate them at night. So this white color attracts the flies. They can easily locate them at night. You know, at night it is very dark. So it's very difficult to identify the flowers of other colors. So this white blooming flowers are white in color. Why? Because flies get easily attracted to this. Or these flies can easily find out that there is a flower in this plant. Oh, it's white in color. So it is very easy for the fly to locate this flower it at night is that clear so why is the color of night blooming flowers white and why it is very fragrant because it helps flies locate it helps flies locate them at night is that clear now have you seen this flower how big is it it is is it a big flower yes it is a big flower wow its name is rafflesia what is the name of this flower? Rafflesia. It is the biggest flower in the world. See, so if you are asked which is the biggest flower in the world, what will you say? It is Rafflesia. And it has a foul smell. What is the meaning of foul smell? Bad smell. Actually, it smells like rotten flesh. Flesh, you know what is flesh? Meat. Huh. meat in the smell So it's a bad smell, no? This this flower has bad smell or foul smell and we call it coarse cor, cor, meat flower or meat flower. We call it meat flower. Why? Because it smells like a rotten <coughs> rotten meat. Okay. And it is as big as an umbrella. 
you know what is an umbrella oh it's as big as an umbrella and what is its weight it weighs approx 10 kg oh it's very heavy isn't it it weighs 10 kg a flower weighs 10 kg means it's really huge right so rafflesia is the biggest flower in the world it has a foul smell we call it mead flower why because its smell is that of a rotten that of rotten flesh in it is as big as an umbrella <coughs> and weigh approx 10 kg 10 kg kg varnari illa ningalku 10 kg and wow how beautiful this picture is what is this these are neelakurini flowers neelakurini what are, what is the name of this flower neela kurini and what is the speciality of this flower do you know have you heard of this flower neela kurini it blossoms once in 12 years see it blossoms or it flowers once in 12 years in 12 years it flowers or it blossoms only one time and ha have you gone to neelgiris have you ever been to uti neelgiris Nilgiris got its name because of this purple blue flowers. See, I have wrote the spelling as F O W E R S. It is F L O W E R S. Please correct it. Nilgiris got its name because of this purple blue flowers. These flowers are so beautiful and it blossoms once in 12 years. Is that clear? Now, can you make a flower using paper? How many of you can make a flower using paper? Okay, you, you should try this. You should try to make flowers using paper. You can color it. Okay, and send it to me. Then, we have studied about flowers. Now, leaves. Can you identify the leaves from the picture? You can see a tulsi plant here. Tulsi leaves. Can you identify it? Basil. Next, Spanish thyme, Panikurka and Pari. Hmm? And what is this third picture? Mango tree leaf, hmm? leaf of a mango tree. So these are leaves. Which are the leaves who smell, you know? Have you ever tried to smell leaves? Which are the leaves who smell, you know? Do you know the smell of Tulsi? Do you know the smell of a mango leaf? Again, I'm going to give you another activity you have to do. Collect leaves, leaves of basil, curry leaf, mango tree, ginger, cinnamon, vetive, ramacham, varim, Spanish thyme. Again, I told you, panikurka. So, collect these leaves. Now, again, uh, what you have to do? You have to play that eye band game. What is eye band game? You have to tie your eyes and you have to identify the leaves by their smell. Or what you have to do? You have to identify the leaves by their smell. Okay. Okay. So play the eye band game and try to identify leaves with their smell. So now observe the shapes of the leaves that you collected. You have collected some leaves, right? So now you have to observe the shape of the leaves. Aren't their shapes same? No, the shapes are different. Plants can be identified by the shape and smell of their leaves. So you can identify easily. If, if, do you know what is the shape of a mango leaf? Yes. What about Tulsi? So the shapes are different. For different plants, the shapes of the leaves are different. So we can identify the plant which is the plant by the shape and smell of their leaves so plants can be identified by the shape and smell of their leaves is that clear for you now see this picture you can see a lot of images a bench is there kite cat a plant pea plant is there right so what are the objects seen in the picture pick out the living and non-living things in it can you identify which are living things and which are non-living things from the images? Yes. Now, you have to do one, one more activity. Find the living and non-living things in your surroundings and tabulate them. See, make a column like this. 
uh, in first column you have to fill leaving things name of leaving things and in the second column you have to fill non leaving things okay you can get the names from your surroundings so you should do this find the leaving and non leaving things in your surroundings and tabulate them will you do that okay so now we shall study the peculiarities or specialities of this living things and non living things what are the differences that you can see in living things and non living things you know this living things grow do you grow yes plants also grow right so living things grow then what about non living things will they grow will the table grow will the table in your home grow will the house grow no non living things do not grow so living things grow non living things do not grow living things new ones are formed okay from a plant you can get a baby plant right so living things produce new ones new ones are formed from living things but new ones are not formed in non living things will you get a baby table from a table no will you get a baby tv from tv no non living things do not produce new ones so new ones are formed in living things no new ones are formed in non living things and living things move you can move will the table move no do not move only non living things do not move living things move non living things do not move living things respond okay if you touch a hot vessel will you take your hands away why because you know that it is very hot and you respond but what about a table or a chair will it respond will it take it Uh, will you will it go away from that uh, heat object no hot object no so they do not respond who do not respond non living things do not respond then living things take food like we need food plants also need food but do you think this non living things need food have you seen non living things eating food no have you seen a stone eating food no have you seen a bench eating food no so living things take food non living things do not take food and one more thing living things breathe do we breathe okay we take air inside right we take oxygen inside but this plants also take respire plants also breathe but non living things do not breathe ab living things le endak ezhudanam what will you write living things grow new ones are formed can move respond take food breathe right in non living things do not grow no new ones are formed do not move do not respond do not take food do not breathe is that clear you can see a lot of differences or peculiarities of living things and non living things you have to complete this table and this one living things and non living things table both these tables you have to complete and you should send it to me that is your today's assignment is that clear you have to fill both these tables living things and non living things you have to classify living things and non living things you, you have to write the names of living things and non living things that you see in your surroundings and here you have to write the peculiarities of living things and peculiarities of the non living things i have already told you what are the differences you simply take it down okay okay my dear students see you in next class bye